What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a long, long time since we posted, and yes, you've clicked on the title that says that we broke up. I do want to say that yes, it is true, we did break up. This video is to solely go over everything that went down. A lot of you guys have been reaching out to us, and for me, I haven't really responded much Same about the situation. Here. So I guess we haven't responded much about the situation. I don't know, I guess we just wanted to keep that private somewhat. But yes, a lot of you guys have been asking where we've been, where the video's at. This and that, and um, when are we posting too? Like, everybody, yeah. when are you guys posting? Did you guys quit YouTube? If it is a solely cover all, I know, like, we may be smiling and we may look somewhat like happy and whatnot, but just know that it was for real. We really like broke up and we were on some pretty bad terms. Yeah, we're just gonna be totally transparent. Things happen in relationships, and it's a no judgment zone. I don't hear nobody talking. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna have you start because, like, you know, just. <laughs> Okay, so one day I just got home and I saw Jarvis on the Xbox and I was just like, God, I am so tired of this thing. Like, I just want to take that thing and toss it right out the window. <laughs> and it wasn't like, oh, he was playing for like an hour or two. It was more like two in the afternoon was, to like... It was excessive. It was really excessive. Like, it was just it was a bad. lot and it was really bad. And it was like an everyday thing. And I would get home and there would be things to do like you know, things that has to be done. I just lost sight of myself and I wasn't taking care of myself. And when I noticed that, you know, he just continued and I would talk to him about it, we'll have conversations about it. Like, it just wouldn't change. So I'm just here like, yeah, I, ca I can't do this. And that's basically what happened. And I definitely, from my part, apologize to you guys because we just kind of left flat without saying like oh we won't be posting for us quite some time or something uh, like that but at the moment like i had made up my mind i thought we were we would not even be sitting down together making this video but we came to a mutual agreement and stuff like that and yeah this is why we're here making this video for you guys so you guys can watch and <laughs> know what happened since you guys keep asking where we at <laughs> we're here with an explanation now <laughs> so um, I'll let Jarvis explain his part. A very unfortunate situation. Like by my part, I feel like I did up. Like I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. To be spending a lot of time with an Xbox and having a girlfriend and spending little time with her. That's tough, man. Like obviously, like I, I want a future with my D and all that. And I can't. I'm not gonna have a future playing Xbox all day. I'm just gonna have a future with my Xbox and I can't marry that thing. <laughs> can't have kids with that thing. You know what I'm saying? So I had to come to a realization that I fed up. Like I reflected on the situation and I like literally told myself like dog, you let this shit happen. And it may sound crazy, but I talk to myself sometimes. Sometimes. But in a situation like this I definitely did and um I talked to a couple of my close 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 friends and they're like dog like it's it's amazing that you can realize that you f***ed up. You know, from, from here, man, you just have to, like, if things happen to work out, you have to really be aware of everything. Yeah. You gotta be aware of yourself. You gotta be aware of her. You know, like, just things that, you just gotta do more for you and for both and things like that. Cause I really wasn't doing much. Like, I really wasn't. I'll come home, Xbox the friends all day. And it's fun and everything. It's good, it's entertainment. Like, that's my, that was like my, escape but i can't be doing that every day like i'm pretty grown close to 30 man nothing against anybody who's close to 30 you know whatever gaming yes gaming pays and you know pays people's bills doesn't pay mine i, I gotta like figure out sorry no, i just have finish. to um kind of like focus like this is my dream job this is our dream job right here and a lot of you guys may know because we've said it in the past but this is what we want to do right here YouTube yeah. influencers <clears throat> like I literally in my heart feel like I, I will become that like we will become that and this is what I want to do and I'm not going to be doing that sitting in a gaming chair all day in gaming so we're not being cons consistent in a way because I have my attention on something else so you know just keeping it real um I don't know maybe some of you guys are going to say some dumb shit up in the comments but it is what it is man you guys got your shit to say go ahead and say it it, uh, so it doesn't affect me at the end of the day, I, I eat, sleep well, it's not gonna bother me. So um, right. I just, you know, being straight up, I feel like it's 
one of the key things in my life. I always have been, you know that shit. I've always been straight up, no matter what the situation is, um, you know, I'll always be 100%. And um, that's that, man, like that's literally my point of view. I try my hardest to not let the relationship go, you know, and that same day I was like, dog, like, trust me, man, I cried like hell. I know I love this girl for a long time. And then, you know, since I met this girl, I was like, dog, she's the one. <laughs> so it's like, I think your mom said it there, too. Literally. <laughs> So for me to just sit there and game, bro, like, yeah, she's not gonna be the one if you're just gaming all day. Yeah. So that's just the talk I have with myself, and uh, couldn't even tell you, like, I, I during the situation, like, I it went for a little bit, it went for a, a, long, a pretty long time, and man, I, shit, as a man, I could sit here and say, men cry, I cried. I, you know, some days I couldn't show up to work, other days I'd go to work with like crap, and my students be like, oh, you good? Like, you, did you sleep? No. But I'm working. And I, yo, I just have to wear that mask for those kids and things like that. And it's like, it's not, it's not pleasing. I was at a, at a low point in my life. It was effectively real tough. But that's, that's literally like my side of my experience with the situation. I don't wish it upon anybody, but the only thing I would say is, if you ever have a situation like this, no matter how bad it is, communication is number one priority. Because talking, you can do a lot just by talking. But that's that's just my spiel. I probably took a whole lot of the video, but um, you know, just you know, learn from experience, man. Like I was gonna say, um, it's not that gaming is like the worst of the worst because there are really, like pretty bad men out there uh, yeah. who do way worse. And gaming is a real sport. Like people do that for a living. And I respect it. Yeah, like I respect it too. But I think it's a whole different perspective like if I were to meet you that way yeah. but I didn't so I met you as like a <coughs> business person like all about like business and all these stuff and I just saw him like sit down like playing Xbox and I noticed that he wasn't helping me as much I was just like yeah I, I don't know if this is gonna cut it for me because I know my worth I know my value and I know that I'm super rare there's not many people like me um, Thanks. I'm very genuine and I care so much about other people. Sometimes I care too, too much. Probably care more about them than I care about myself, which is something I need to start doing is caring more for myself. So when I noticed that he wasn't adding or multiplying to my life, I was just like, I don't know if this can continue. And I know that I have said before that like Jarvis is a big help and this and this and that. And at one point he was really a big help and I don't know what happened. Um, but again, that comes into the role of communicating and like trusting and just talking things out um, and actually listening when you guys are talking because you can be talking to someone like, hey, I'm going to change, da -da, whatever. And then it's like nothing happens. So when you're going to talk to someone, make sure that you guys are really like adults. You guys sit together, talk to each other, like really talk to each other, focus and listen to each other because I have said so many things to Jarvis like multiple times. And I think he didn't soak it all in until like it was real where I was like Word. we cannot be together anymore and that's when he's like okay shit she is tired of me and like I need to figure it out. I'm also gonna say that like the breakup wasn't easy at all like I mean I've been sleeping with him since like for a long time. Since like we met. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Um, and don't don't be in like like sleeping next to each other. Like don't, sleep don't, next to each other, not like doing. Yeah, don't, don't 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 be fresh, bro. Not doing the nasty, but just saying. <laughs> Cause when we met, like, I think, I remember for New Year's that was the first time we slept together, and it was just like we just went back to his house and we just fell asleep, and then it became like an everyday thing, like we would Word. just sleep together, but we wouldn't do anything, and that's how I knew kind of like he was the one. Um, Cause he didn't like disrespect me or anything like that but actually i would fall asleep first i put a oh, movie yeah. and i fall asleep regardless i'm mean, like yo yeah. um, he's gonna watch a movie and it was jarvis and i feel like i never noticed that you fell asleep and then i would yeah. just fall asleep but anywho we always slept together since like day one and it was it felt like weird not having you there yeah and i felt like alone but i knew that i couldn't just tell him like come back home or like mm -hmm. you know just stay with me because I knew I wasn't gonna get anywhere I knew that he had to like kind of like learn a lesson mm -hmm. so that he can be who he's meant to be I also spoke to some of his friends I think it was just like two of your friends okay um 
it's so one of them which i appreciate this person a lot um but he's like i was talking to him and you know he was just like you know the grass isn't greener on the other side which technically means like if i was to find someone else it doesn't mean it's always going to be good on the other side like right. maybe that person could be worse maybe that person could be better um but why start over with someone else when you already know like someone's flaws and all you have to do is build and communicate from then on right. sometimes though that is not the case i feel like sometimes when you take a step back instead of moving forward i feel like you are limiting yourself as well so i took it with like a grain of salt but i also just spoke to god a lot and i just kind of told him like guide me because i'm lost <laughs> so i spoke to god a lot um but yeah the the breakup was pretty intense the people who knew they know about it and they knew that i was serious i know a lot of people i feel like were kind of like proud of me for doing that only because not because they didn't want us together yo i was like haters <laughs> not no because mainly like the people who were like proud of me was like family even like people from your side of the family they were just like i'm proud of you but it wasn't because of like oh they didn't want us together it was more like you need to put your foot down so he can grow and like know what he has i always knew i had something special but it definitely made me realize like you can lose that right. like something special right and at that point i was like i'm in trouble <laughs> like i need to get it together or it's like it's just never gonna be yeah. a thing a lot happened and that is the truth so for you guys who have been hitting us up this is why Word. we weren't posting i mean that's that's pretty much everything yeah crazy but to end this on a really happy note we are back together yes, and that shit are. like that was tough <laughs> because this guy right here like tried everything to get like his girl back all right so i tried everything to get this special woman back and she deserved it and as you guys can already see we have a whole different background um we did move into a different Jeez. apartment so we'll be doing a home tour soon as well oh look at the quadros in the back man <laughs> whole different setting but the lighting i think is perfect i love the lighting here um i love the apartment it's smaller but it's still spacious mm -hmm. um and i think it's just perfect for us at the moment um, but we have so many great videos that are gonna be coming soon so stay tuned for that um i hope you guys really took this video soaked everything in and like just forget about us not posting during that time because you know, we gonna, will they ain't gonna forget they gonna hit us real good for it <laughs> like they have been, but it, whatever man that goes a long way though you guys keeping us like holding us accountable so yeah do that i like that shit I I that. it's like, like a yo, reminder like we're at? here for you guys where you where's at? the videos that's Keep real posting. support that's real support yeah. and that's family like bro mm -hmm. so this is what it's all about yeah. One big happy family on YouTube. It's not just us two, it's y'all two. So with that being said guys, this is it for the video. We are still together. Thank you guys so much for your time and for watching this video. Make sure you click that thumbs up. Leave a special comment for us down below. And you already know, man, we love you guys. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.